Hey everyone, this is Louis. Welcome back to my channel. Titan Potions, what are those? So Titan Potions are a resource in the game that you use to upgrade your Titans. Basically make them higher level. See here I have this many 52,000 Titan Potions. And um, there's other resources associated, associated to the Titans, but we're here to discuss Titan Potions. Titan Potions are like the experience potions that you have for heroes. So suppose I would like to evolve my Yasmin here. I go here in the X plus button, and then I can put here another level using my um, hero XP potions, right? Those, those ones, those ones here. But for the Titan, um, for the Titan uh, upgrades, that this is similar. It uses the Titan potions. These are very, very, very much the same, basically. So I go here to the guild, to the Titans. I pick a Titan that I want to upgrade. Let's see, Sigurd. And then uh, the difference is I don't get to choose how many Titan potions I want to spend and say half level one level of Sigurd and then do the rest the next day I only get to spend the the um, total amount that is necessary to to do the upgrade right so this this would be 1390 Titan potions for the next level okay so this is this is what Titan potions are um, used for and why they are important because they upgrade your titans okay so um let's see how do you get titan potions so the main way of getting titan potions is by doing the dungeon as you do the dungeon on a daily basis you get rewarded uh, with um, a number of things in each fight you can get um let's say um Besides Titanite, which you will get every every fight, you will get possibly Titan potions, like we just did here, 50 um, pl uh, times two, because it's the first fight, it's the first time that I do this fight, so I get a double reward, double Titanite and double uh, Titan potions. Besides Titan potions, and um, let's do one more one more fight here. And also, uh, I don't really recall if this is the same between hero and titan fights. Um, good point. Let's <laughs> let's check that. Um, so the other uh, the other thing I would like to, to talk about is you also get, uh, of course, titan souls, like you get on those uh, uh, special heroic fights in the campaign with the heroes. Some of them. Y some of some some of them give you give you these uh, hero souls, and you can only do a number of fights per day. Um, it's uh, that's something I must take note. But it seems that you always get uh, Titan potions. Yes, exactly. Like on like on mobile version. So on browser version and mobile version is the same. You always get Titan potions for the hero fights, and you always get. Um, Let's put here Nova instead, and you always get um, uh, Titan Souls for the Titan fights, right? So we should reaffirm that here. So always double for this case because I'm doing the f the fights the first time, and always getting Titan Souls for Titan fights, and always getting Titan potions for um, hero fights. So that's it for getting. Uh, Titan potions the the regular way but there's another way and that other way is by checking on the guild war shop here in the merchant so the guild war shop has here in the valuables these titan potions and you can exchange your your bronze guild trophies for this uh, you can also use um, those same bronze guild war trophies for runes that's also a good way of trading this but um, while you are developing your, at least your main titans, you should be reserving most of those for this. So I'm going ahead and trade all these um, Guild, Guild War Bronze trophies, right? So I will get 
I will get 7,800 Titan potions out of my 1,040. I have 1,050, but I will spend 1,040 uh, bronze trophies. Get those, collect. And. Oh, a small difference. And uh, the, 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 um, the Guild War shop is available also here in the town for the browser version, but not for the mobile version. Right? Well, now I have these Titan Titan potions. Now I have a bunch more. Now 60k. I can spend them. And let's let's go ahead and spend them. Okay. And let's talk about the indirect gains as as we go with this. You see these sparks of power? We're gonna get uh, 200 now, 290 now. Let's upgrade. You see the uh, the reward is increasing as I upgrade my Sigurd. So this is tied to the level of the Titan. I'm reaching level 60. And let's say here we have 344 four, uh, sparks of power to obtain from 45 to 46. Oh, wait, wait, this is something fishy here. I never noticed that before. We get. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> So you get a bigger reward depending on your um, on the evolution of your Titan. I I kind of forgot this b because my mo my mobile account has uh, has all the Titans at six stars, so I don't notice that anymore. But you see here for a three star Titan, level forty gains gains me uh, a hundred ninety four, and. Um, Four stars, w level thirty gives me two hundred twenty-five, so more than than this level forty here, and and this level forty-five here is getting me three hundred forty-four sparks of power. Sparks of power. What are those? Those are um, resources that are used to upgrade your gift of the elements for your heroes. It's an indirect, an indirect gain that you can get. All right, so. Now I have 6,000 here and I, I, I need to use a certain amount for each level. I, this is the same for every hero, it just de depends on, th on the hero of the Gift of the Elements. So it starts at 250 and then goes on increasing. And um, yeah, what, what basically this, ta this uh, resource will give you is an increase of certain stats depending on the type of the hero. So for a mage you will get uh, more of intelligence than the rest. For um, So it's, it's, uh, it's a multiplier um, of times 2 for each stat, except the main stat for that hero which will be a times 4. So for a mage it's intelligence, for a tank usually strength. And for um, for a warrior and for a marksman, usually agility. Okay, depends on the euro. You also spend you also spend the gold. And by the way, and this will be for another video, but I'll just say it now. If you want to complete the daily quest for the gift of the elements, and I'll just demonstrate here now. You can just do like this: activate on a hero without any uh, gift of the elements like here and here activate spend 250 spend 7000 gold activate then you would go on the, the other quests here you would have here a quest that will be completed you would collect the resources but you don't need to wait to waste those uh, resources that i just spent to to get the, re the, the the reward because you can just go here and do a reset and you get back the 250 Sparks of power, and you just lose this gold, seven hundred thousand, uh, um, seven thousand five hundred gold. So reset. I reclaim the sparks of power, lose the gold, but that's fine because it's not much gold, and you can get these on a daily basis. So you s you spend two hundred fifty, get back, and get them back, and then you can later when you have accumulated enough. The sparks of power. Spend them on the hero that you you really want to 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 upgrade that that stat. And this way you can do the quest every day, and not miss it any day. Okay, because you won't have enough sparks every day. Sometimes you won't have. Okay. 
So that's the indirect gains. Let's do some some spending. And on another video, on a different account, on a web account, this is a browser, a browser, um, Facebook account. I did I did an approach, a method where I upgraded all my mostly my 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 blue my water titans so the secret to level 70 and the others to level 60 or a bit less but then i upgraded later more and all the other titans i, I left a bit behind but not too behind so i had the tanks uh, uh secret 70 and level 70 and moloch and angus level 60 and then all the other supers i had five levels below Hyperion and I had the others at lower levels. Okay, so we'll try now to do what what we call in in development A B testing and what scientists might might call in their experiments uh, a control group. We will do this account as a control group and we will just focus most of these uh, resources on the water titans and we will see what will be the results of, of that on a uh, medium to long term basis okay so i will try to keep this not much developed after after their current levels i might just bump a bit here on agnes just to to be on par with the Araji, or i don't know we'll see but uh, i will dedicate most of the resources to the water titan so let's start on that so i put i put here level 60 i still have 40k so i spent about 20k titan potions now i will do mary because he's the second in line so i need to get him to level 50 at least let's put also second or no actually i don't recall now second or third in line <laughs> for the water titans now let's do Hyperion to level 50 and we still have uh, 23k okay so I suppose I can leave those as they are and now I will push let's see if I spend here 10 levels that will be all the titan potions I have oh crap ah but uh, I did forget one thing one minor detail <laughs> we do have access to evolving these titans because we have accumulated soul stones and when we evolve these titans we might get some extra souls that we can trade later for additional titan potions so let's gain these this will also give, give us a big number of sparks of power by the way as you see here both of these all these three methods will give you sparks of power so use titan potions or, or emeralds for upgrading and then use um, souls and gold lots of gold to evolve your titans so i will need now um this would be four stars this would be this would be nine so four to five stars will be 900 souls plus 1 million 250 gold so let's evolve let's evolve again let's now go over to mary do the same just one evolution there hyperion then Nova. Now I still have a lot of gold and a lot of souls for the other titans. So if possible, let's not leave um, some of these titans behind. So Angus. And Moloch. Okay. So now let's exit, reopen again. Yeah, that's the thing we will see in a bit. Not just yet. We get uh, all the all the water titans are on the front, uh, much more developed right now. Now we can do all these ones if we have enough gold, which I believe we have at least for many of them. Let's see. We will do Ignish or Ignish, depending on pronunciation. Let's do Araji. 
Let's do it then. We're running out of gold, but... Can we do more? Silva. Vulcan. And Avalon. Okay. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> Just barely enough gold to evolve all of them. Okay. With this, we spent um, a bunch of souls, but we managed to get some titans to their six stars. So we have, uh, as a result, extra uh, soul stones that we can trade. Okay. We also get some extra rewards here, by the way. We can collect these to help us out on our quest. So a bunch of uh, titan potions. Let's now go here in the merchant. This merchant happen, um, appears after you, you have at least one titan uh, at six stars, evolved to maximum. So we collect these 40, uh, 43,000 uh, titan soul coins out of these uh, extra souls. So all the souls that we see here, um, for example, uh, Sigurd, is is at six stars is maxed but maxed evolution but he has 1237 extra souls that we can trade the same here so we trade we get the titan soul coins and now we can mass spend here on titan potions okay so we get this big number one 171,000 titan potions yay trade all right now we can we can do a little bit more trading here Let's try that. Done. And now we can further develop. And now we we really don't have that much of a, a blocker, right? We can move him up quite a bit. Let's see if we can reach 80 easily. Level 80 there. Let's see Nova. By the way, now each each of these is getting me a, a big number, close to close to, uh, about 500. Uh, Sparks of power, this one um, 400, so let's increase. Let's see, 60 here. Let's go here to 60 as well. Let's pull Hyperion further. Now, as I have um, in my uh, main Titan team, Angus, don't ask me too much why <laughs> Angus, I like him and um, he's a good damage dealer, also a tank, also keeps the Earth Titans alive. I also use uh, often, uh, maybe less in his account, but I use often Araji or I could use, uh, I don't know, Ignish because the blue, the water titan is mostly defensive, control defense. So maybe it's a good way to do maybe it's maybe it's good to have Agnish to, to increase our damage, but I'm using mostly Angus, so I'm gonna develop Angus so that I don't have uh, a very uh, uh, uneven team. So now we have all these titans like this, 60 for these ones, 80 for Sigurd. This already demarks a, a quite distinction between uh, between my Facebook and and, um, and web accounts. So web account being um, more more even, a bit more focused on on water, but more even. And this one is clearly more water. And let's see, we have now fifty three thousand. Each level here will will cost me. Uh, 5,000 so this will almost get me uh, level 90 for Sigurd probably like 88 or 87 for Nova I can get her to level 70 you know and the rest for these ones um, should I put a bit on the Raji it's probably a good idea or, or Agnish probably would be a good idea so you cannot have it all, huh? <laughs> cannot have it all. I can put, I mean, like five levels on each of these. Maybe that's a good compromise. Five levels for each of them. Or just put a little bit here. Let's try five levels here. So five on, on Nova. Let's go five on Angus. I need him because he's in the front line. Let's... Let's try let's try five five on my ring. Now I can opt for 
Like, I think I can do that. Five here on, on Hyperion. So to ramp up a bit the damage capabilities. And now the Titan Potions are gone, so I really cannot put any more. I can I can start bringing up a little bit Agnes here and you know try to bring him up to 40 to be a bit more even here. The Earth team is as a six level 65 uh, tank there, so they don't need to to keep up say, keep up as much. So this can stay at 30. This can stay at 30. But Araji and Moloch are not that high, so I will I will make the effort of bringing Agnes here to level 40, and then I will continue as I go on the Water Titans. So this is my control group for the record. So just put a little bit there on Agnes, we'll put a bit more as I go uh, until he reaches level 40. I will continue developing all the Water Titans and Angus, mostly, because those are my main team. And eventually, if I start feeling there's uh, some difficulties uh, with with in the dungeon or or when I need to use a fire titan, then I will eventually look up to uh, Agnes and Araji and try to upgrade them a bit. But well, this is my control group, and um, I believe it's also the end of the video. I mean, we can now just take a look here at the um, power increase and all that. So. Yeah, I suppose we were in the rank 800 something and we uh, went up 389 ranks. Nice. <laughs> Very nice for a day. <laughs> so, oh yes, and we can take a look at the total total power for for these titans. I believe they were around I don't want to don't want to lie but I believe they were around 60 60 70 around that total titan power for for these ones here. And now they are at uh, 128,000, almost 129,000 total Titan power for those five Titans there. Okay. Well, that's it. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you enjoyed uh, my, my you, you understood and, and got some information out of these explanations about Titan potions, about the indirect gains for the Sparks of Power and uh, a bit on how to spend the potions and so methods of doing that um, also how to get extra titan potions so the exchanging exchanging the, the, the extra souls for titan soul coins then exchanging those for titan potions and also exchanging the, brows, the bronze uh, guild war trophies for directly for titan potions that's it for, for this video and uh, I will see you around there. If you like it, just leave a like, subscribe, have fun, and good luck in the Dominion.